internet computers, tokenomics are absolutely amazing. And I'm going to show you inside better data than I've ever seen before for internet computer right now. For all the critics and the haters out there that are like, internet computer has garbage tokenomics, I guarantee you've never looked at the data and actually compared to all the rest of the altcoins out there because I have found so many tools that go deep into the tokenomics and uh, I'm gonna show you right here. The tokenomics are amazing. And uh, I've researched hundreds of altcoins this year. I've seen that the tokenomics are garbage for most altcoins and uh, internet computers are actually amazing so let me get inside the data right here and i'll answer questions live with you as well so first this is on you can go to the dashboard.internetcomputer.org slash circulation if you go to jerrybanfield.com i've got all my icp links in my discord server and you can do a simple calculation here now everyone who talks about ICP's inflation and says it's huge and it's awful has never done this one simple calculation. And here's how you do it. First, you go over here to one year ago, the total supply, and then you use a calculator. So the total supply is 491,334,609. So 491,334,609. So that is the supply that was there last year. And uh, we uh, divide that. I should have done this in opposite order, but whatever. We'll divide that by the current total supply right now. So the total supply a year ago divided by the total supply right now. And then we'll inverse it because that's how I think for some reason. So inverse. And here's the inflation rate. This is the actual real inflation. If you take the total supply from a year ago and to today that's three and a half percent of real inflation and everybody who's saying the tokenomics are junk have literally never done that calculation and uh, i will show you much much more data than that but the tokenomics get better and better and better for this as well because now a logical question you might have is well how can the voting rewards function be 7.38 and how can the node provider rewards be going out this much and it only has 3.5% inflation? Well, they've got a very clever system set up where you can stake internet computer and if you lock it up for eight years, you can earn 16.5%. And that voting rewards are actually paid in maturity. They're not paid in ICP, but if you get maturity and stake it, you are compounding your interest essentially on it because you get the voting power so you get more maturity. So there's 71 million in undistributed voting rewards and many of these are locked up for long periods of time and cannot be distributed in the short term. You've only got 30% of the voting rewards that have actually been distributed. These must be done manually. So if people set it and forget it, compound it, die, don't give it their wallet to anybody, then those never get distributed. So if you manually distribute those, then you can get those voting rewards. So out of the 7% annually for the whole everybody's voting rewards, only 30% of that 7% has actually been distributed in total. And even though the node provider rewards have went up and up and up with the price going down, those are going to go back down as the price goes back up since those are essentially paid in fiat. If you look at the neurons, you'll see there's all about half of the total supply of ICP is staked and 80% of that is staked and not dissolving. Not dissolving means it's not becoming unstaked. You've only got about 20% or so of the supply that actually is dissolving that is staked. So uh, that means you've got like over 40% of the total supply is staked and it's not even dissolving. One reason a price is tanked is because a couple years ago you had 120 million unstaking which has since been sold and dumped on the market and looks like it's been gobbled up by retail. Meanwhile, you've consistently had more and more and more that's been staked. 
So this, to me, puts uh, an amazing supply shock possibility in where internet computer has a real inflation rate currently of 3.5% over the last year. You combine that with about half the total supply is staked with 133 million of it staked for eight years. It cannot be burned somehow or sold. It is locked for eight years no matter what, and it's not even counting down. This side is the ICP that is staked and counting down. Right now, there's 50 million counting down between... Well, that was back here, excuse me. Right now, there's 26 million ICP that is counting down and will be unstaked within the next year, 12 million that is in the next one to two years, etc. And you'll notice there's only like one and a half million ICP that staked seven to eight years that's currently counting down. So this puts us in a scenario where we can have an incredible supply shock for ICP in a bull market where people like me are taking their internet computer, staking it for eight years, locking it up. We can never get to it any other way. And uh, that means the amount that will be transactable will uh, be tiny. And we've seen in the, some junk coins out there with only this metric, just that one metric that literally have no other metric, no other value proposition, just that one metric plus some marketing has equaled massive pumps and huge values. Now you combine that with all the other videos I've made about internet computer protocol, saying the maximum potential for internet computer protocol is to be a crypto equivalent or competitor or crypto full stack development platform similar to Amazon Web Services, which is valued more than a trillion dollars. So if you combine that with all the other stuff that internet computer sends transactions just as fast as Solana, except it's 10,000, you can store 10,000 times as much data on chain for the same cost and internet computer as Solana. There's so many reasons to be so hyped up about this. And uh, full transparency, I have 2,247 internet computer myself locked for eight years. I've bought all of this myself. None of it has been given to me. They haven't paid me anything to talk about this. I'm giving you this information because it's the best information I can find in crypto because I want to build a world of wealthy people and I'm tired of y'all being ripped off on all these junk coins and I'm tired of y'all getting this terrible information from people who have not done five or ten minutes of research into the tokenomics. So speaking of research, I will go deeper and deeper into the uh, in, into how the supply looks at a level I've never seen anybody else do before. If you stake ICP, how would dissolving start? So once you stake your ICP, you have to then click to dissolve it, and then whatever you set as the dissolve delay then kicks in. If you want a full tutorial on the network nervous system, including everything about how to dissolve and all that, stake it, I've done a 40-minute tutorial on the network nervous system which is on my crypto reviews channel you can just search icp network nervous system tutorial jerry banfield and this is the video i go into it for 40 minutes here and explain everything on how to do that in much more detail so let me show you the uh, some key numbers for internet computer so i say the internet computer tokenomics are very good for many reasons because three and a half percent inflation is much less than many other chains. And if you look at the history of other chains, for example, Ethereum now sometimes is deflationary, but when it first started, it was not deflationary. There was a bunch of inflation through mining and uh, internet computer may possibly be deflationary in the future if it gets used a lot, or the inflation may be even lower. But another key thing with tokenomics you need to look at is you need to look at where is the supply being held? It doesn't matter if there's zero inflation. If you've got one centralized entity like Ripple with XRP holding $20 billion that they can just do whatever they want to with and constantly dump that. I have a website that I found here called iCscan.io where you can look at the highest wallet balance in internet computer. 
and the highest wallet balance in the internet computer according to this if we go to the first page here the highest wallet balance is 26 million icp that's the largest single wallet so if we need to do a little more math i can do it in my head but we'll get the calculator out just for math and again we i like inversing i guess so the largest wallet in internet computer has five percent of the total supply that is outstanding because all the haters and critics who are talking about that it's so centralized and Definity's got all the tokens not true the largest single wallet only has five percent and if you go add up the Definity wallet there's another application which in i guess the haters and critics have not seen this either because they in most cases have not actually done any meaningful amount of research but on the official explorer you can see that Definity and ICA the Internet Computer Association and Definity Foundation have 20% of the voting power right now on Internet Computer Protocol if you look over the last year you can also see that their voting power is dropping and this means more than likely that retail is stacking and uh, that other people are staking their voting power over the last year has dropped from 22 percent to 20 percent now this does not account for people who are following definity with their votes as i am now i also manually vote but in case i forget to vote i follow definity and i'm going to do a dedicated live stream just talking about definity because there's so much garbage information about this as well and this will start in about 30 minutes from now this is on my crypto reviews channel where i intend to do a stream on both of these channels each day we're going to do a stream just about definity on this channel right after this one is done but here's the facts definity f-a-c-k f-a-c-k facts fa facts the facts not m&m's facts but here's the facts there's they the Definity and Internet Computer Association have 20% of the voting power right now. Now, of course, there could be secret stuff I don't know about that's hidden in places, but I'm gonna trust the explorer, the official explorer for this and go out on a limb and trust that they're being honest with this because I don't see why they would lie about that and risk like ruining their reputation and the whole community being outraged when they could just be honest and put it out here. So we're going to assume we're going to trust in this case because it's their explorer and it makes sense they would be honest. That said, there is a bunch of dishonesty and lies and all kinds of disgusting stuff in crypto. But, you know, I, I feel that there's less of that on a computer anyway. Definity has 20% of the voting power, which is combined with Internet Computer Association, which is down 3% in the last year. They've said they're on a path to decentralizing this. And 20% of the voting power, the reason they have so much voting power, is because they've got a bunch of the supply is locked up for at least eight years. So if you go over to the eight-year lockup, the uh, the reason they have so much voting power is you get your voting power is doubled when you lock up eight years compared to locking up six months so if we go over to vp geek which i've never seen anyone critical of icp actually look at this information because well it would show you instead of you just saying things that aren't true so here's the definity foundations they're, this is what they've got. Their actual staked ICP right here. So if we look at this, they these are their their nodes, and you've they've got about 50 of them, maybe a little more, like 60 or 70 of these that have like a half million internet computers staked each, and they've got it locked up for eight years, and that's why they have so much voting power. So if you go up to the top here, they've got these all locked up for one and a half million voting power which is on a 671,000 stake of icp there's like 10 or so of these and then there's like 40 or so of these so if you add these up and you consider the voting power is getting doubled then it looks to me like definity based on what i've seen 
has about 10 or so percent of the supply locked up and combined with the Internet Computer Association locked up for eight years. And even if you want to go out on a limb and say, I mean, it may not be that big of a limb. If you want to believe that this biggest wallet address is also a Definity wallet address, which, you know, that's a guess. It's not, you, you could guess that that would be a Definity wallet address with 26 million ICP. If you want to guess the largest single wallet is a Definity address, then they've got another 5% of the supply. That would be 15%. Even if you want to guess that several of these other big wallets are Definity, which there's not definitive evidence to indicate that these would be Definity versus something else based on what I've seen, but even if you wanted to guess that several of these other wallets are Definity wallets, then you're looking at they've got 10% of the supply locked up for eight years, which means they cannot sell it at least eight years from now. And then out of these liquid wallets, they may have another 10 or 15% max from what I see these wallets have. That's total maximum that Definity should have any control over is about 30%. Now, if you consider what other teams and VCs and stuff have, that, that looks great. That means the insiders, so to speak, have a very reasonable portion of the total supply. Now, uh, the you can only guess based on these wallets, or maybe you could try and like click on each wallet and try and trace like where the actual transactions came from, and maybe somebody will do that and try and give us an exact amount of what Definity should be holding. But from what I see retail has accumulated a significant portion much larger than most cryptos i see retail has accumulated a lot of internet computer retails locked up a lot of internet computer for a long time and the supply appears to be distributed much better than most cryptos out there ethereum for example from what i see has a much more centralized supply than internet computer. You've got Lido DAO that has a huge amount of Ethereum, like 30% of the staked Ethereum is all under one centralized entity's control. The DAO is a joke. I mean, there's whoever's holding the addresses, you know, for all that stuff, they have the real control and everybody else has surrendered their control to that centralized entity. Even Vitalik doesn't stake his Ethereum. Ethereum Foundation still has a lot of Ethereum itself. I, from what I can see here, Ethereum is more centralized than internet computer. So if you're holding Ethereum and complaining about internet computer, look at it. It looks like Definity, especially with the price bombing, it looks like one of the big advantages of the ICP price chart. It looks like because the chart has went down so much, a lot of the insiders and investors have dumped relentlessly and people like me out here in retail have been accumulating constantly this whole way down because the insiders it looks to me in many cases got either pessimistic or like Definity needed money for grants to pay out to projects it looks like a ton of money has been dumped by insiders and is now in the hands of retail and this looks really good for the future. This looks like it has huge pumpamentals in place because you've got so much of the supply. 50% is currently locked up with only 20% of that is actually being unlocked. Most of the supply is locked a minimum of eight years. If you look through the wallets, the top wallets have a very reasonable amount of the supply compared to I review on my crypto reviews channel alone. I've reviewed hundreds of different cryptos this year. It is extremely common for the top 100 wallets to have 80, 90 plus percent. You do not have that on internet computer. The top wallet only has 5%. And then these two wallets each have more than 1%. But none of these other wallets even have more than 1%. Let's do a little bit of math here. So... Let's look at how many the top 100 wallets have. You got, this one's got about 5%. These two have another like two or 3% between the two of them. Then these have less than one. 
So you're looking at 18%, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, and these start to get less than 1%. So you've got like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine percent or so in the top 15 wallets. The nine percent in the top 15 wallets is not bad because now these are getting down to half percents. So you're at like 10%, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And now these are each, these are getting under half a percent. So each of there's about 15 wallets per page and now it's taking about three of these or so to just get to one percent. So you're talking if you go back and now it's taking down here like five of these. It, it looks like the top 100 wallets on ICP if you go through here. Now, if you check some of these, this looks like it includes the staked wallets as well. If you are looking at the top hundreds of wallets on ICP, it looks like they have well under 50% of the total supply. And that looks really, really good because there's so many. There are so many of these cryptos you look at that the top 100 wallets have 80, 90% of the supply. So ICP, if you actually look at the data, looks really good three and a half percent inflation the top wallet wealth is concentrated way less than most other cryptos the Definity foundation has a lot less tokens than many others do and uh, some of the tokens i've included may even be tokens that if ftx has any tokens that are in there ftx has a lot of solana tokens they're holding on to and while the price of solana is going up they're going to be exit liquidity for the FTX holdings. Internet computer, I looked at all of the biggest wallets right there. And there, it looks like this is in such a great position to absolutely moon. Because when you get into the data, the data looks good. And I'm going to show you even more data. Because I'm, I'm so, so grateful that I've got data that's better than I've seen anybody else present. And I want you to really look at it. And uh, I, uh, I am reading the chat as well. I appreciate there's been a lot of chat in my Discord, which is available on jerrybanfield.com via Patreon, or you can subscribe in Discord. We've IC7 says I'm selling my couch for ICP. I am uh, buying every bit of ICP I can get my hands on this. I've looked at a lot of other cryptos. This looks really good. And what we've seen, we've seen a really, ICP was up to $7 earlier this year. It dumped to under three. And now we've pumped from three to four in a relatively short period of time, less than a month. And this pump has went right along with Bitcoin, pumping from like 25 to 35. Now, yes, other stuff in the short term, like Solana's pumped harder, but you want to be in it for the long term. You want to be in it for because things can dump very quickly too. So let's check out. Let me show you this distribution. Kelly, thank you very much for the $10 super chat. The first super chat we've had on the live stream today. I have done a review of Quant. I detest Quant. I can't stand Quant. It's an ERC20 token with no real value that i can see i i've i've done a hype video about quant myself i bought quant earlier this year i researched it i hate quant if you'd like to see my video about quant and any crypto you're holding i recommend you look at what the haters are saying because if you look at what the haters are saying and then look at what the lovers are saying you will often get a great perspective on it and that's what I've done with ICP. I've listened to all the haters. The haters are severely misinformed on ICP. Here's, here's my quant review. Look at my thumbnail for this. Quant sucks. I mean, I'm tired of like beating around the bush on some of these. Quant is horrible. But here's the problem though. I made a video seven months ago just to get views and because I did actually buy 0.4 quant that day, and look how many views I got on this video about quant. When I did this video, I had done much more research on quant. And the more I looked into it, the more I realized this is horrible. Like, how are people excited about this? Have they ever actually looked this up? 
how is holding an ERC20 token that is constantly promoting CBDCs on its X page, how is this going to work out? It's probably not. Let me show you some data I've never seen anyone else present before. This shows the actual addresses on internet computer that have a non-zero balance. Now, one thing you need to understand, on internet computer, you can use internet computer without ever transacting with ICP. And that's what makes internet computer so special. Most cryptos, you have to pay a gas fee, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, you have to pay a gas fee, even if it's small, like Solana has tiny little transaction fees, but you still, the biggest difference in the world is not having to pay anything versus having to pay something. So on internet computer, you can see there are over 400,000 addresses with a non-zero balance, and you can see just in the last couple days, in the last couple days, there are two, almost a, a thousand, what, a thousand three hundred? There are a thousand three hundred more addresses with a non zero balance in the last few days alone. And that looks to me like people finding out about Internet Computer for the first time, perhaps from my videos or from other videos or for some other source source and starting to stack that is a serious amount of growth in just a couple of days let's see if we can annualize that so if that growth was sustained let's divide up here 438.052 divided by 436.779 so that is two tenths of a percent in just one two three four five days so if you multiply that if that was sustained and you divide by five, so multiply by 365, divide by five, that you're looking at seven, if that, if this kept going for the year, you're looking at 73% growth in a year in the address with a non-zero balance. Like that, that is outstanding growth in just a few days. Just my thoughts. Thank you very much for the $5. And I know... I know that many people in crypto don't care about fundamentals, don't even understand what they're buying or what they're investing in, are just throwing money out there. I know many of the creators, many of the content creators, YouTubers, ex-bloggers, journalists, many of them don't even hardly know anything about the technology behind crypto. And that's why so many people are getting ripped off. The last bull market, the reason so many of you lost money is because you were taking bad sources of information in and because you weren't researching and looking at fundamentals. Some of the most fundamental things for crypto are data in terms of usage, the technology, and the teams behind these crypto projects. Those are some of the biggest fundamental things. And in the video on my crypto reviews channel, I'm going to do right after this, starting in 15 minutes, we're going to dive into the team. When you combine the data with the technology and the team, there's nothing that's nearly this good in all of crypto. And yes, I see some of you are, are complaining that, well, Jerry, you've got this big internet computer bag, so everything you're saying is confirmation bias now. I had a bunch of cryptos in the top 100 earlier this year. I had a bag of like 30 to 50 different altcoins and therefore I triggered confirmation bias on all of them. I researched hundreds. I'm constantly comparing and looking for the best cryptos. I did a lot of research before I committed to putting everything in the internet computer and I've never got paid to talk about this. I'm looking for the best investments myself and then I'm educating you on what I've found because I want you to be wealthy. I've talked to so many of you in one-on-one -on -one calls on my website and people in real life who've lost their life savings in crypto, all while spending a bunch of time and energy that in many cases has been wasted in crypto. So my, my goal is to give you the best information I can find. Attila, thank you for the 20 bomb on the super chat. Really appreciate the big $20 today. Nice to see you. 
I think you've dropped a super chat before because it didn't say it was your super chat one. Thank you. I'm earlier today because I'm doing a noon yoga. Yes, John Red says, the fact is that ICP is at all-time lows and hardly anyone's talking about it, and it's the best tech in crypto. This is a unicorn. You don't see stuff like this come on, uh, come along very often where it has those combination, where it has the combination of the technology is far superior. You can store 10,000 times as much information on Internet Computer Protocol compared to Solana for the same cost. That is an exponential leap ahead in technology and it's not getting hyped up a bunch things like solana are getting a bunch of hype right now and uh, internet computers not except if you're on my channel and then it's all internet computer hype and uh, with the price the technology and the relative level of attention this is a once a cycle find that has real fundamentals there's all kinds of junk meme coins. If you want to play the game of garbage crypto investing and gambling, sure, you might be able to find a hundred or a thousand. There is a meme coin called Sneed that just did a hundred X, more than a hundred X on internet computer recently. And I didn't mess with it. I saw it early on, but I'm not messing with meme coins. I want real fundamentals. I want something I can buy and hold on to indefinitely, like well, like Bitcoin when I first found it. So let's look at let's look at some more of this data and then we'll wrap the stream up and go on the other channel. I'm intending to do shorter streams so that I can really focus on certain information. Maybe we'll do a longer stream once a week. So check this out. Look at the number of addresses with a balance greater than one. So these some of these may be dust or smaller accounts. If you got an address greater than one, you know, these are mostly going to be real accounts where people have not just left dust in an account somewhere. So what you've seen here is that there are 800 more accounts in the last five days. That is an increase of 1% in five days. And if you want to do some math on that, it's really similar to the last number. But if you want to do 1.01 .01 in the last five days times 365 divided by five, Again, that's a over 70% increase. That more than likely is retail stacking. That's eight more than likely is represents 800 more people who've started loading up on internet computer. Let's check the balances greater than 10. If you look at this, you have a similar number of people who now there's about 500 addresses. Again, a 1% increase in five days. In addresses greater than 10. That is solid. Now, here's even more interesting. This is about the same, about 200. There's about 200 addresses that have increased with a balance greater than 100. In, and that's $400 today. So, in the, there's been a 1% increase in five days. And this is retail stacking, more than likely. I mean, theoretically, it could be one person sending 100. That's some nice stacking. 1% in five days is incredible. And here's, here's even more interesting. So this one, there is... These are bounces over than 1,000 in the last five days. Right here, you have about 61 addresses increased in the last five days with over a thousand. That is a more serious level of stacking. That is about a half percent or so increase in just five days. And then addresses with over 10,000, now we're getting into whale territory and we're getting into like some of these are insider or, or you know, net, network knows, affinity addresses. So there's, according to this, there's 3,000 over Actually, a couple were lost here, and then several more just loaded up with more than 10,000. Now, I don't know what this data is doing with that. I think it has something screwed up with the bounces greater than 1,000, because for some reason it says greater than 100,000 is the same on both of these. But you've seen these are probably seed investors that are dumping right here, or big investors. A couple dumped, and then you had a couple more loaded up. So, to me, the data looks awesome. The data looks outstanding on internet computer. 
You can also check addresses last active. Thank you for another super chat coming through from Thorazine. $5. Thank you for another super chat. If you look at the addresses, so here's an important point. On the internet computer, you can use all kinds of applications without ever actually transacting. So if you look at the Definity data for internet identities, there's about 10,000 internet identities logging in each day. But most days, most of these addresses are not making transactions. So right now you've got, and some people have, have not been able to find the data. Here's the data. Right now there's about 4,000 ICP addresses that are active each day. And this appears to be addresses that have generated a transaction and burned ICP. And right now you've got about 44,000 addresses active every week. And then about 55,000 active within the last few months. Now, this, this data is much less than some other chains and much more than others. So this is where comparison comes in. So Solana has a lot more activity relative to market cap than this for this particular metric. But one reason for that is to do anything on Solana, you need to do a transaction. Whereas on internet computer, you can use websites. You can do all kinds of things on internet computer without generating a transaction. You can like posts. For example, if something like that was on Solana and you like to post, it would generate a transaction and pay a fee and do an account. Whereas since ICP has a reverse gas fee model, you're not actually generating a transaction that then makes your account active according to this data. That said, if you look at ERC-20 tokens, I reviewed an ERC-20 token yesterday. It has way less accounts. I mean, we're talking 90% less accounts active on the same market cap as internet computer. So compared to most of the junk coins... This data looks way, way better. Now, if you compare to Solana, where everything requires you to do a transaction, we've got all kinds of accounts doing a whole bunch of transactions, then this doesn't look as good. But that's why you need to understand the difference in technology and compare. And Solana is a bit of an outlier. Most like th this, this user data is comparable if not much better than Cardano, for example, on the market cap last time I looked anyway. Like, like the market cap of Cardano relative to the activity versus the market cap of internet computer. And uh, that's this is hard data that people have been apparently unable to find. So here it is. ICP.deliacapital.com is where I got this data. This is iCscan.io on here and then there's VP Geek. All of these are in my Discord and uh, the the data looks outstanding. I mean, I've showed you hard data. Davy Santos, thank you for your first super chat. 5 euros. Really appreciate your love and support. I I really like proof of stake much better than proof of work the more I've thought about it. However, internet computer is proof of useful work. The network gets paid on internet computer by doing useful work. What I don't like about Bitcoin is that it's not useful work. You're solving a meaningless problem just to do the mining. Whereas on internet computer, node providers are paid for processing all these transactions, which apparently is having an issue loading correctly right now. Internet computer, you get paid to process the transactions on it. And there's 36 blocks a second something didn't load but normally there's like four or five thousand transactions a second on internet computer and the nodes are paid to process the transactions bitcoin is incredibly wasteful as is the rest of our financial ecosystem and things like dry and close that said we don't want to just give up on you know just because things are wasteful doesn't mean we the thing to do is just give in and just be wasteful because other people are wasteful. Internet computer very efficiently uses energy. The nodes are processing real data, real transactions, photos, videos, code, NFTs, all kinds of things that are hosted directly on chain. Internet identities, there, the transactions loaded. Internet computer is doing 4,000 transactions a second, and these are big transactions. 
These are transactions moving a lot of data around. It's the equivalent to 180 some thousand Ethereum transactions a second. That is exponentially more than is happening on the Ethereum network. So if you combine the tokenomics with the rest of the data, and I'm about to do a presentation right after this, if you'd like to hang out for the next one, in about five minutes, I'm going to go live on my crypto reviews channel, and we're gonna look at the team behind ICP. The team behind ICP is outstanding, and I'll explain why. When you combine that with the tokenomics, and you combine that with the price, I mean, oh Lord, I hope, I, I've just deposited more on Coinbase. Internet computer's been volatile the last few days, which has been interesting. The price went, surged up to $4.20, dropped back down under $3. It goes under three like this. I'm scooping more of it up. Please wait for me to buy before you buy. And please do your own research. I've researched internet computer for more than 200 hours. I've spent thousands of hours researching other cryptos. I used internet computer a bunch before deciding to make a significant investment into it. I mean, I used the apps. I, I played with the technology myself. I saw that te the technology was obviously far superior to anything else I had ever used before. And that's what got me thinking. I'm like, wait a minute. This technology is way more advanced than anything I've ever used before. You can sign in directly on your phone and it uses your phone's cryptographic environment and it uses the same on your computer. It's like instant transactions with almost no fee. Yet host stuff on chain like this is a whole nother level. So I'm really grateful that I've given you very clear data that the critics maybe it'll change their mind or maybe the people on the fence can stop listening to critics who've never looked at the data. The fact is internet computers inflation is three and a half percent. The fact is internet computer, according to everything I've shown you here, has much less centralization of the token and the voting power than many other projects out there, including some of the top projects like Ethereum and even Bitcoin, the mining power, is getting much more centralized with these big mining companies that now all have some shares owned by BlackRock. So internet computer to me looks amazing. This is educational information and entertainment. Do lots, 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 lots of your own research before you commit to something. And I hope this has been useful. If you want more, jerrybanfield.com has links to everything one of you just scheduled a one-on-one -on -one call with me for tomorrow. I'm looking forward to talking with you. We, uh, You can talk to me any time of day. I read every message in Discord and I'm very responsive. If you join Discord, it is paid to be able to chat to keep out all the spammers and scammers and fake Jerry Banfield accounts. I also have music videos. If you listen to music, I would love for you to follow on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, Get to know me on there if you miss the live streams join discord or telegram all that's on jerrybanfield.com i will see you if you want more on jerrybanfield.com or jerry banfield crypto reviews where i'll go live now thanks for watching kelly lisa Corey chambers darren lehman k sid john red thank you davy for the super chat thorazine attila for the big 20 bomb just my thoughts kelly for the 10 much love I'll be right back on the other channel.